Hi folks, Dan Dale here, Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell mostly trucks, a few trailers, campers, recreational vehicles, boats of all shape, form, and description. But today we've got one of those trucks that we don't run up on too often. Uh, you're probably used to seeing my dad do the first part of these videos, but he's gone to a gun show, so I'm going to go ahead and knock this one out. This is a cool truck. It is a 2000 Ford F-250 Lariat 4x4 off-road package 7.3 turbo diesel with only 138,000 miles. Which, if, if you've been in the market long for a truck or a 7.3 especially, you know how hard it is to find uh, one with such low miles. Because by now, let's face it, most of them are ragged out and they got three or four hundred thousand miles and they're on their last legs the body wise although the engines can run forever but um, but this one only has 138 it's pretty cool well uh, I'm gonna take you for a test drive in a minute but first we'll do a little quick walk around you can see the grill is in great shape it's not cracked or peeling the bumper is nice the um, headlights aren't faded out it has this nice set of matched running boards on it that uh, give it a nice look. Matching set of Wild Country uh, tires on it. You can look in here, no rust. Southern truck, not rusted out. Windshield's good in it. There's one little ding right there. I'm gonna try and nitpick this truck as best I can because we know most of our customers buy sight unseen. But look down here, look in the rockers, all that. Zero rust, not dirty, not uh you know covered in mud and stuff hasn't spent any much if any time off road you can see we got a key got a remote look how nice the seats are they're not ripped or torn power seat cup holders headliners in good shape got the overhead console with the little information readout and yes it works um, looking down in here all of that's in good shape um, the the floor mats a little dirty but that just it can't really be helped around here um, I have a gravel parking lot and everything just can't can't keep it perfect but uh, you can look under here the carpet's nice not worn out by any stretch look in the back the uh, Got the little extra cup holders up front. Of course, got a flip down armrest here. Sliding rear window. Showed you the headliner. One little stain in the carpet. Looks like some Kool-Aid or something. I'm sure you can get it out, but I don't want my guy, if I tell him, scrub that carpet, he'll scrub a hole in it. So I'm not going to try. I'm just going to announce that. There it is. But look in these cab corners and stuff. Just uh, no rust. Look how clean it is in here. My guys couldn't clean one that good if it was dirty. Just believe me on that. Got the spare tire, which I don't think has ever been down. It looks like it still has the nubs on it. But you can see under here how nice it is. It does have a gooseneck hitch in the bed. So if you want to <coughs> pull a little trailer or something, you can. One thing that is not going to come through in this video when I'm driving it is just how quiet this engine is. Now, 7.3 is... Nobody's going to mistake that for a 6.7 or, you know, late model diesel that sounds like a gas motor. But most 7.3s you get, they, they make a lot of that diesel noise. They're diesel-y. It's really loud. And that's a combination of age, exhaust leaks, old injectors, stuff like that. And it's just not present on this truck. This truck is quiet. It's smooth. When you hit the accelerator, it takes off smooth. Look under here. Look across the front. You can see the bed straight. Um, look back on this side. Again, great shape. Cab corners are all good. Bottoms of the doors, no rust. It's just hard to, to overstate how clean this truck is. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say it's a perfect truck or you won't find something to nitpick if you look hard enough. But it's a nice, nice truck. Uh, still has the spare tire key in it got the manuals in it look at the carpet carpet's good 
seats are good no rips no tears none of that dash isn't peeling you look in these jams not filled up with mud not dirty in the pockets this truck has seen this has not been somebody's daily driver this truck has obviously been babied a little piece of dirt right there but uh, I mean overall it's just super clean super nice truck it's a 2000 Ford F250 Lariat 4x4 off-road package um, limited slip got all the goodies skid plates if you have any questions about this truck give me a call 601-376-9869 <coughs> If I don't answer, don't leave me a voicemail. Shoot me a text um, to that same number. And um, if you have any questions, like I said, want to make an offer, want to know what it takes to buy it, any of that, give me a call. But now I'm going to show you under the hood, and then we're going to hop in and take it for a spin. Hi, folks. Dan Dell here. I'm about to take you on a test drive, but just wanted to show you a few things under the hood first. Number one, we don't clean under hoods. This is just how this truck came in. So you can see got a little dust on it but nothing major and the big thing is you can see this truck has spent very little if any time in the mud because once they've been off in the mud bare aluminum pieces like this get a brown patina that you just cannot clean off but one thing i like you see this intercooler pipe still has insulation on it still has the four part number it's been well taken care of still got the little cover over the battery usually these things get chunked almost immediately you got your spare tire equipment here the uh, ac compressor has been changed at some point got a good pair of batteries in it main thing i want to show you though you can see tiny wisp of smoke but smoke's not a big deal as long as it's not puffing the main thing is set the cap down it doesn't blow off if the cap were to blow off that would mean it has blow by and what that is is engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase. It's not necessarily the sign of a bad engine, but it's a sign of wear that this truck doesn't have. Now we're going to hop in and take the first spin. Okay, now we're in the truck driving. You'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson. So even though the video may come out a little shaky, rest assured, the truck itself has a great ride and drive doesn't pull to the left or right doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes it's got a stereo with the cd and cassette player the stereo works but i don't have any cds or cassettes to test the rest but i'm assuming it does work but uh, don't can't say for sure one thing i did thought think was cool you see the overhead console it shows your compass heading and your distance to empty and all that and uh it still works almost every one of these trucks we get in if you watch our old videos you'll see us disclaiming that that little deal because there's a little uh, diode or transistor or something in it that goes out and it's not that big a deal to fix it just takes a little time to take it out there's a guy on ebay you can send them to for 17 dollars he'll fix them but um anyway they almost never work they work on this one it's got the extra power outlet uh you see the cup holders got a uh, trailer brake controller got the big heavy duty manual shift on the transfer case steering wheel is in great shape uh it's not ripped or torn it is twisted just on top a little bit just from i guess you know people grabbing the wheel for long times and kind of pulling down and you could probably twist it back or i would just you know put a little steering wheel cover on and not worry about it um, the dash is not cracked or peeling or anything um, the only other thing I can nitpick on this entire truck is the power mirrors aren't working now for some reason neither one's working so that's usually this little switch or the fuse so if it's something simple we've got some of these switches laying around we'll fix them um, but I want you to be it to assume that we don't fix them or we forget or whatever and that way you know I don't want to risk bad feedback over uh, a $12 power window switch or you know something silly I forgot about now honestly if it was my truck 
you can buy the the toe mirrors for these in the big 08 to 16 style, the big square ones, for like $110 on eBay. I would put some of those on personally, but um, of course that's up to you. But I don't know if you can hear it, but the truck is shifting out great. Um, it fires right up, hot or cold, no issues there. And whether you buy from us or whomever, you always want to hear a power stroke fire up cold because if it's got injector issues or uh, fueling issues, it may run perfect cold, warm, and then you drive it home, the next day you go to crank and it run like a dog. So you always want to hear it run cold, uh, no matter who you buy from. But this one fires up hot or cold. Of course, it's only got 138,000 miles. I mean, that's not even broken in for a 7.3. I mean, we've sold them. Look at some of our older videos. We sell them regularly with 250, 300,000. We've had some with five and 600,000 miles on them. I mean, if you, you keep them maintained and serviced, and these engines will pretty much run forever. Um, they're just, you know, that that strong, that tough, they've got a reputation for durability, and uh, the thing I like about this one is stock, you know, there's not a, a cold air intake under, under the hood or, you know, one of those crappy foam filters that people think make power and they really just dust your turbo, but uh, the stock air filter on these trucks flows plenty, uh, doesn't have a tuner on it or any of that mess, although... You know, I, I put a tuner on it. If it was my truck and I was keeping it, I put a little six position hydra uh, on it or something just to pep it up a little bit. Matt, you, they, you can put it on max fuel economy or, or tow, stuff like that. You know, I, I do that just to um, maximize the, the economy, but it runs great just like it said, so you may just uh, want to leave it alone. I just turned the cruise on, a little light came on. It's accelerating up this hill, so it works. You can see I turn it off, and it goes to slow down. I'm doing 75, not making any weird noises or hums or vibrations. One thing you can take away from all this shaky camera work and all these potholes and bumps I've been running over is that this truck is tight. There's not a lot of squeaks and bangs and rattles. There's no thunks from uh, the front end or anything like that. So you want to fly in here to Jackson, Mississippi, to Jackson Air National Airport, we'll pick you up at our uh, regular business hours, no extra charge, we'll bring you back here and we'll do all the paperwork and feedback and stuff and let you get on the road. Um, I wouldn't hesitate, like I said, to, to hop in this truck and go absolutely anywhere in it. So you are welcome to do so. Although. You know, most of our customers are from the Northeast and the Midwest. They're buying from us because we got great prices and rust-free trucks. And <coughs> so we understand you may not have time to spend several days flying or driving in and then driving home. So with that being said, don't let the idea of having to deal with shipping dissuade you from um, being interested in the truck. Or don't let the idea of... Uh, if you, if you look online at some price quote websites, don't let the prices scare you because odds are they're not actual shippers. They're just brokers. And they'll charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they call it a deposit. But all it really is is their broker's fee for finding somebody to haul it. And they all use this one website that's not open to the public called Central Dispatch. Well, we jump through all the hoops and we pay about two grand a year to be on Central Dispatch just so we can offer our customers wholesale rates on shipping. So if you're interested, shoot me a text, 601-376-9869, or email me the truck you're interested in and your zip code, and I can get you a good ballpark figure on shipping. And if you're anywhere near Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, I can get you a real good deal on shipping. So uh, just give me a buzz and I'll let you know on that. Basically the way it works is you buy the truck, you can either FedEx me a cashier's check or you can uh, do a bank wire and pay for the truck and I immediately I'll send you the title and the paperwork and I'll post it for shipment. And as soon as I hear from somebody that can haul it, 
I'll make all the arrangements and when they drop it off you just hand them the cash for the shipping so you pay them directly you don't pay me anything I don't charge a markup or anything like that it's a free service to our customers although if you're not a customer I'll do it for 50 bucks but I'd rather you be a customer and I'll do it for free so if you're interested like I said uh, send me your zip code and I can get you a good ballpark quote on shipping thing I want to show you have been driving nearly 10 minutes and you can see on the dash all the gauges are reading where they should be they're all reading good no warning lights lit no airbag or ABS or engine light or any of that I like to show the dash after I've been driving a little while because you know it's easy to hook your scan tool up and kill a light and then take a picture and say oh look no lights on but if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it then as soon as you go to driving that light's going to come right back on so that's why I like to show it after I've been driving a while just so you can see for yourself that there really are no lights lit so just a uh, just something I like to do in all my videos so uh, everybody can see for themselves since I know a lot of you are buying and paying for the vehicle sight unseen so um, you can even see the compass as we get off this exit slowly turning from uh, north to south and all that so it's working like it should if you have any questions about this truck give me a call 601-376-9869 if you want to make an offer call me want to know what it takes to buy it um, I want to know about the truck itself or have any questions about the equipment any of that give me a call 601-376-9869 we appreciate you watching the video and listening to everything I've got to say about it and look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.